Sharpen your brain, don't be a slut. It's time to shine in Matalino. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Guys, you know that's Fibonacci? You know about 2, 4, 6, 8, 9? Oh yeah, that's arithmetic. But yeah, guys, do you know about this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 32. That's geometric sequence. And, and that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. Arithmetic sequence. A sequence where a number increases or decreases by the same constant number called the common difference. So the same scenario tells us the first step. Every week we ask you to what? How much would you say to eat it? Today I'll explain to you the formula. So this is our this is the formula that we are gonna use in arithmetic sequence. A sub n equals a sub one plus n minus one times the common difference. A sub n will be equals a. Since the question is how much we can save you? A sub n means the term we are looking for. A sub 1 equals 100 as good as save 100 pesos in the first week. The first week indicates that 100 pesos is the A, is the a sub 1. The common difference is 50 since every week it adds 50 more. And the n is equals 8 since it's the same as a sub n. First, let's write the a sub n, which is a sub 8 then 100 as the a sub 1. After that, let's put the addition operation, then open parenthesis, and 8 as our n term, subtracted by 1, and multiplied by 50 as our common difference. According to PEMDAS, we solve inside the parenthesis first. So, 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. Then we multiply 7 by 50, which is 350. Finally, we add 100, and 350 giving us 450. So for the 8 term, it equals to 450 pesos. Okay, since we're done with the arithmetic sequence, let's move on to its counterpart, the geometric sequence. So a geometric sequence is formed by multiplying or dividing. Each term is formed by multiplying the previous term to the common ratio, which is represented by the letter R. A ball is dropped from a height of 2 meters. Each bounce is twice as high as the previous one. How high is the ball after the this fifth bounce? This is our problem. The a sub 1 is equal to 2 since the original height of the ball when it was dropped is 2 meters. And the a sub n is 5 since the question is how high is the ball after the fifth bounce. The n term is 5 since it's same as the a sub n or the term that, that we are required to get. And the ra ratio is equal to 2 since each bounce is twice. So twice is 2. So for the formula, it is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r or the ratio raised to the power of n term minus 1. So now let's solve a sub 5 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 5 minus 1. According to PEMDAS, we solve the exponent first. 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. Now it becomes 2 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 4. Now, to the power of 4, is it will be equals to 16. Then we multiply 2 by 16 which is 32. That means the ball will bounce 32 meters high on the fifth bounce. Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is the sum of two previous terms. This is how it works. 0 and 1. So you'll add them. And the sum is 1 and then you'll add them. 2 and then 3 and then 5 and then so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and solve for this word problem. Our first step is to analyze the word problem. It is to figure out what is the sequence that we are going to use for in order to find the term that we are going to look for. A boy notices three cats follow him home every day. On day one, one cat follows him. On day two, another cat follows him. On day three, two cats follow him. Continues just like the Fibonacci sequence. How many cats follow him after one week? Since we already know what the pattern is, which is Fibonacci sequence, and we already know what is Fibonacci sequence, we will just need to determine what is the term that we are looking for. So here is the question, how many cats follow him after one week? One week is equivalent to seven days. So the term that we're looking for is seven term. Since Fibonacci sequence follows one, one, two, three. So the Fibonacci sequence, again, is by adding the two previous terms. So we will just be needing to add these two terms to find the seventh term. So to do that, we will just need to add these two terms. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 
and 5 plus 8 is 13. And if we take a look at the sequence, we already have found the seventh term, which is 13. So how many cats follow him after one week is 13. Life is like Fibonacci. The older we get, the harder the challenges we face, and the greater we become.